Um, Representative Levin, um, you are now recognized for three minutes to deliver a statement in support of your bills, the Commitment to Veteran Support and Outreach Act, and the Mark O'Brien VA Clothing Allowance Improvement Act. Well, thank you very much, Chair Luria, Ranking Member Nels, members of the subcommittee. I really appreciate your including H.R. 4601, a Commitment to Veteran Support and Outreach Act, also known as the CVSO Act, and H.R. 4772, the Mark O'Brien Clothing Allowance Improvement Act in today's legislative hearing. Both are bipartisan, bicameral bills that I proudly introduced to improve veterans' ability to use their benefits. The CVSO Act, which I introduced with Representatives Rosendale, Ryan, and McMorris Rogers, would authorize VA to award competitive grants to expand the work of county veteran service officers, also known as CVSOs. CVSOs are local county employees who are nationally accredited by VA to prepare, present, and prosecute VA claims. And they're often the very first to inform veterans about their eligibility for VA programs and services. They also help enroll veterans into the Veterans Health Administration and provide assistance on a range of benefits, including service-connected disability compensation, VA home loans, education benefits, and job placement assistance. The grant funding provided under the CBSO Act will be used to improve outreach to veterans, assist in the development and submittal of claims on behalf of veterans, hire additional CVSOs and train CVSOs for VA accreditation. In doing so, this program will strengthen economic supports, strengthen access to care and enhance connectedness, key strategies that reduce risk and promote protective factors for suicide. Shifting gears to HR 4772, the Mark O'Brien Clothing Allowance Improvement Act, which I introduced with Representative Moore, it would improve veterans access to clothing allowances. VA's clothing allowance is a benefit for veterans whose prosthetic, orthopedic devices, or skin medicines, which they need because of service-connected conditions, damage their clothes. I think we would all agree that service-connected veterans should not be on the hook for the cost of these damages. Unfortunately, this occurs all too often under the current system. A veteran must apply for the benefit by August 1st to receive payment that fall and then reapply each year in order to receive the benefit again. For veterans who have lifelong conditions, having to reapply each year is unnecessarily burdensome. My bill would cut this red tape by making the VA clothing allowance an automatic recurring annual payment. VA would periodically review the claim and would only discontinue the allowance if the veteran loses eligibility. This common sense solution will save time, reduce unnecessary paperwork, and ensure veterans receive the benefits they've earned. So thank you again for including these important bipartisan bicameral bills in today's hearing. I look forward to working with you and others to advance them through the legislative process in the coming weeks. And I yield back. Thank you, Congressman Levin. Um, ensuring that veterans in rural areas as well as underserved populations have access to county and state officers supports the overall mission of reducing veteran suicide by increasing a veteran's ability to file claims for benefits and health care earned through their military service. So thank you for introducing this bill, as well as the Mark O'Brien VA Clothing Allowance Improvement Act, uh, which streamlines, as you mentioned, the VA clothing allowance process. So again, something I think would be uh, beneficial to our veterans. 